All right, so this one kind of got away from me a little bit. Uh, they made an announcement trailer for a new boxing game. It's called Undisputed. I heard about this uh, maybe last year or something. Uh, it was on social media, on Twitter and everything, and uh, I was like, oh, cool. So there is two bits of information around two different boxing games going around. One is that Fight Night, something to do with Fight Night from EA is in the development, and uh, we don't know much outside of like I guess there I think there was a uh, investor call or something like that about about Fight Night. So when that trailer drops, I'll definitely have to do something around that. But for right now, what we have is this game here called Undisputed. It's made by Deep Silver, and you know me, I like you know my WWE stuff. I love my UFC stuff, and we have really sorely been missing a boxing game for probably oh man, it's been two console generations now probably about 10 years or something like that it's it's been a long long time so let's check this out let's see what's uh what let's see let's see what this is all about um i'm very curious to see so let's jump into it and let's see what's uh yeah yeah we got violence we got blood and we got lyrics so bad lyrics on the music lots of blood in the ring and a whole lot of violence because you're knocking somebody's head off <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, Tyson Fury. Right. He's been in WWE a few times. Okay, the atmosphere. Yeah, this definitely got a fight night feel to it. This is in-game, you can tell. Okay, I'm not seeing any blood or cuts or anything. October? Hmm. So this is coming to PC, Xbox, PlayStation, all of it. Uh, I'll definitely, if I can get hands on with this thing, I'll definitely check it out. So I'd love to see a demo of it to just be able to check out, see what's going on. Ooh, my microphone is very loud. But, but yeah, I'd like to, uh, let's bring that down to like eight. But yeah, I'd like to uh, I'd like to see like a demo or something. I'd like to see you know them bring it out so everybody can get hands on because for a boxing game, for it being so long since we've had a boxing game, I feel like we could really use a demo. We could really use something just to get people to be like, oh, okay. I mean, also it's Deep Silver too, so you know, I, the only thing people know for boxing wise is EA. That's what we've all grown up on is Fight Night. Okay, so. You're going to really need to bring... And then other games that have done boxing, they've done it in like an arcade kind of goofy way. There was like one other game, but the game was like... It fell off real quick. I think it might have had technical issues or something to it. So again, this is going to be very hit or miss. In my book, this thing, it could just come out being really rough. Um, I definitely would need to get hands-on with this to see what exactly it is, See you know, see exactly... What we got going on here i want to do a bit of a let's let's just really quickly do a bit of a breakdown on this uh i have some thoughts and you're not seeing any blood or cuts i do like this arena right here this looks really really cool so this is i've never actually seen this arena before i don't think this doesn't look like anything this is like a like a tube of an arena hmm um right off the bat uh character model looks at it looks a little like plasticky. I'm, it's not quite as you know. Like I would, I would expect if Fight Night came out, and again, we're gonna put this thing against Fight Night because that's what we've had for years. That's basically the the only boxing game that we've really had is Fight Night. So this is going to get put against Fight Night. We're just gonna do that right now. This versus even the la the latest Fight Night, Fight Night Champion. This looks a little plasticky, um, but it doesn't look bad. It definitely has its own style. Okay, so that's what I mean by plasticky. It's not a bad thing. It just has its own style to it. Uh, plasticky can look really good in the right lighting, which that was also very low lighting. So, um, again, it just 
I don't know. Maybe it's just because there's so much sweat. Okay. This looks better. You got some detailing in there. A little bit of the uh, the forehead wrinkles going on with with the with the sweat going into the forehead wrinkles. That's better uh, because the reason why I'm going in that detailed with it of like you can see their pores and everything is because um, when you start having the sweat happen and you start having it drip down, there's so much more detailing that ends up happening. But also the, when the light hits. You know your character just the right way if one if one of the strobe lights goes past you and everything you're going to see a lot more detail in there and you're going to be like ooh, or you could be like oh that was pretty cool um this is looking to be definitely 60 fps we got so it's a definite like the way that the camera angle is kind of going in on the side right there so you know you're getting in coming up from this angle that is a very cinematic feel that is what fight night champion was doing uh, the one thing that I could not stand on the Fight Night games in the layer ones was the whole thing of the camera just swinging around. You know, like you get knocked down, all of a sudden the camera swings around and you're you're on the other side of the screen and all that stuff. Like, I want to see every single fighting game out there. Like, UFC games do the same thing. They have that bad camera swing on it and it just screws you all up. I want to see it so the camera always puts you either on the left or the right side that you select. If you select the left-hand side... The camera should always swing around so you are on that left-hand side. It, the, the technology is there. The camera can absolutely do it, even if it's got to spin, you know, do a 360 around just to land on that. Still, because that is going to, it just it just helps out tremendously on that. Um, I am actually going to slow this down, too. I, I was I was hesitant to slow it down, but we'll, we'll slow it down. We'll slow it down because the action is very quick in this. We're, go, we're going to go half speed with it. Um, okay, so I doubt like how the, the first-person mode is going to be actually in the game. We've never actually seen them put that in there other than like a VR game or something. Defend your crown. Crown. I was seeing that as a G at the first. I'm like, ground? What? Yeah, defend your crown. So become champion. Go and do title defenses. That's cool. Um Okay, this looks better. Again, now that we have way more lighting happening... It's looking better. They still, I don't know. It's just, it's got that like old. Okay, so his head's getting clocked back. Oh, man, they're doing Tyson Fury dirty in it. Did this this match must have must have happened IRL or something? And this is, they're like showing. I don't follow a lot of boxing, so that's cool that you're seeing. You know, again, reactive like surfaces and everything. Um, you know, it's not just like. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of curious though because there is no cuts, there is no blood. Are we going to see the the bruising, the black and blue on the sides? You know, are, is is that going to be a, a tell of like if we if they're blocking too much and you hit their arms and everything, is their arms going to start to you know falter down and then you can punch through their guard and all that stuff? So, you know, all the little boxing things that that you end up blurring over the years. Um, we are seeing that with the with the UFC games a lot of times where you can actually start punching through their guard. Um, is this going to have a story mode? Is it going to be just career mode? If it is just career mode, that's, that's still fine. As long as there's a lot of stuff, you know, maybe a little bit of training exercises, but don't make the training exercises annoying. Um, it's okay. So that right, hmm, this right here was a little, that's a little, uh, the reaction is a little stiff there. There's not much happening. That's one of the things with Fight Night. Like they they got it down perfect. Um, where in Fight Night, when when you when you hit somebody, you're feeling it. It's like doo -doo and you're you know, you're whoa, oh man, the room is spinning. Like they got that down really well. So it's like a very kind of cinematic. You're about ready to knock somebody out. Um, overall, this doesn't look this is, doesn't look too bad. This got my attention. This is there's enough here. Maybe I mean. If they did a first person type of a boxing situation, that'd be a first ever that I know of in a game form that's not VR. That that could be like this whole like camera angle right here could be actually pretty cool. You go and jump in there and you just, you know, you start, you know, rock 'em sock 'em robots with with the other person. Uh it definitely that looks so this is an announcement trailer. This this definitely looks like it's early development. 
but it's coming out in October. So, mm, so it's not, it's not really development. They, they are actually just probably doing polishing on it. Um, yeah, it's, that's just the way that the, the character models are going to look again. It's a style, you know, you either have ultra, ultra realistic, or you have the dialed back, but still realistic. And, you know, you go either which way with that, um, lack of blood in there being able to you know bust somebody open i mean you know it's boxing you're gonna have cuts you're gonna have you know uh to have it to what would be kind of crazy is you you know you go into the first person mode and then all of a sudden you start seeing the blood trickle down the screen because it's going in your eyes or something and maybe like one side of the screen starts going a little reddish or something um you know if you're if if you don't blocked the right way and your eye starts you know swelling up then all of a sudden it starts dimming on one side of the screen and then you can only you know you can't see as well for the right first person could be very interesting in a boxing game i've never seen anybody do it uh any developer do it but then again we don't have that many boxing games so again i'd love i'd love to see what this is i'd love to see just how in depth this gets if it's any good or not you know if the if the fight the other thing too fighting needs to feel fluid um Let's see here. So Roy Jones Jr., 1993 Roy Jones Jr. That's really cool. Uh, there's one other thing. Do they have Muhammad Ali? Do they have Mike Tyson? Do they have, you know, um, oh, man. I'm trying to think. Like Sugar Ray Leonard and um, oh God, what, uh, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. I can't think of his last name. But Roy Jones in there. Uh, Floyd Mayweather. Whether you hate him or love him. We have never stepped foot in the ring with them because he's never been part of any game before. So, again, the first-person mode, if they can get the big roster on there and all that stuff, that would be super cool to see. Um, if EA doesn't want to do it, then screw it. Deep Silver come in and you know pick up the reins of uh, heavyweight boxing champion, virtual boxing game champion, whatever you want to say, and have them come through and, and do it. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see it. Again, it's on PC... Uh, PlayStation and Xbox. So this is the the PlayStation trailer, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, bring up the box art once again. So that's what you're looking for. Uh, yeah, undisputed. Pre-order now. We'll see how it comes out. Anyways, hit that sub button, of course. The the bells, the whistles, all that YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see you next time.